So today we're going to talk about the setup of the BIM 360 locations in the BIM 360 docs. So first we navigate to the project admin because we need to set the locations from this area. So we click on services and when we change it to document management, there we find the locations. And when we go to the location itself, there are two different ways in which we can set them up. We can just add location, and if we add a location, then we give it a name, and then we create a sub-location. But that's actually quite laborious. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, download the template, which we can do just by saying download template. It allows us to download it. And then we import the, the locations via an Excel spreadsheet. But the template will tell us the format in which the information is to be supplied. So the template's now downloaded. So if we navigate to it, and I've got Excel open at the bottom here, you can see that there are a number of different formats. And each tab of the downloaded template example gives us a different format of which we can present our information. So this is the first one where you put the full name of the project and then the level and then the space in every row. And then we have a much more abridged version where we put the just once the name of the project and then individually the names of the different floors and then the individual spaces. And then you can get a four tier, which is much the same as the third tier, but then one of the spaces is subdivided into further spaces, um, the individual rooms themselves. So our example, which I've created, I can switch to that. And you can see what I've done. I've created a project called Building One. It has a number of floors, which we identified, and then rooms within those floors. So what we're going to do now is to import that into the location area and it will form the locations. So let's do that. So I switched back to my locations in my BIM 360 docs. I go to import and what I need to do now is go and find that file which just happens to be on my D drive and then it is so here it is, locations, building one, and then we open that. And immediately, once you select it, you'll see that the way in which we've defined the building locations, so with the different levels and then the different spaces, is immediately created. And it shows us a preview. This is the preview mode. And then we just say import. And now we've got them in. But there is a further stage to that because now what we want to do is to associate it with the different drawing plan views that we've got within the project itself. And to do that, all we need to do is to select, say, for example, the ground level. And then you get the option to say, add a link document. So we say, add link document. We navigate, and it must be in the plans area. So I just know that I happen to have got one in some PDFs. And I'll say that the A100, I know, is the plan view. And that doesn't only add it to the just the ground floors. It will add it to each of these spaces as well. And what we can also do with this is we can define these spaces on that level. And to do that, if we now go to the view itself and select it, it brings up a view of the drawing and allows us to define the areas which we can do. So we'll do this one at a time. So there we are. There are all the uh, spaces defined. And what we can do, say, is done. And to see that this information then has been transferred into the docs environment, what we can do now is to close locations. And we go into our docs environment.
we navigate to where the folder where these files are stored, PDF, and when it's been added as a location, you'll see you get the location pin that appears. And that's the entire location process, and you're not necessarily limited to defining levels. It could be grid references. It can be anything you want as a location-defining object. Once you've linked it back to the plan view, then any other feature that uses the location, it will be available to you. For example, if I was now to go to an issue and create a new issue, we'll say it's a ladies' toilet door, it's a change requirement. We assign it to someone as normal. We choose a date, and if it's done, not done by that date, then the person gets an email. And we can now go to location. So in my location, there's my building one. It's the ground floor. And we can choose the ladies' room. And in the my details, I'll put front door. And what it also allows me to do is to add a document. I can say add a document. I can navigate once again to my PDFs, choose my 101, and then now I can put a pin by the lady's door, and we've hit a done on that. And then for the analytics, let's give it a root cause. Could put a description in there. And that's my issue created using the location option. And you can see in my issue listing, it's got the, the location and it's got which document it's linked to. And that's the use of the location option or feature that's in BIM 360 docs. Thank you.